Toyota presents FC Dallas Extra Time, an all-access pass to your favorite soccer club. Coming up in the next 30 minutes, we go off the pitch with El Matador, the oldest active FC Dallas supporter group. You'll meet the amazing athletes from FC Dallas's Special Olympics Unified Team and learn about this remarkable program. We're also getting you ready for tonight's match against DC United with FC Dallas midfielder Ryan Hollingshead, who has a pretty remarkable story of his own. Those stories and more starting now on FC Dallas Extra Time, presented by Toyota. FC Dallas Extra Time, presented by Toyota. Hello and welcome to FC Dallas Extra Time, brought to you by Toyota. This is your all-access pass to your favorite soccer club. We have a lot coming up in the next 30 minutes as FC Dallas gets set to host DC United, here to help me get you ready for tonight's match and learn a little bit more about the club, is Ryan Hollingshead. So good to see you today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. And I got to tell you, we aren't alone. We, we do are. have <laughs> Oscar Pereja with us here, the FC Dallas coach, um, the first 10,000 fans in the gates here at Toyota Stadium tonight, we'll get an Oscar Pereja bobblehead. Did they did they do him right here, Ryan? They did. I think I'm going to have to take one of these home for myself as well. <laughs> you they, might steal uh, one. His outfit is spot on. His face maybe maybe a little bit different, but okay, that's okay. Yep. And I can't tell if he's happy or <laughs> who knows. <laughs> right, who knows? Right. Now I also have to tell you, I'm always glad to get you guys off of a win. FC Dallas is fresh off that two nothing win over Orlando on the road. It's always nice to come home after a road victory, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, it was big for us, especially after uh, a couple weeks ago, our long road trip, you know about. So coming back, any road trip, getting a win is huge for us. Three points on the road is key. Now we're gonna dive further into tonight's matchup against DC United, but right now, let's get to know Ryan a little bit better because his story is truly fascinating. Now you played collegiately at UCLA, virtually every position over four years in school, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, at some point throughout the four years, I played almost everywhere. In fact, our last game, uh, it was senior night, our last home game, we were winning 2-0. And uh, the coach was about to sub me off, and I tried so hard to convince him to put me in goal just for five minutes just to say I played every position, but uh, he wouldn't do it. You've played virtually every position with FC Dallas, at least on the midfield and at left and right uh, back on the defensive side. Mm -hmm. How has that helped you? Yeah, of course. So playing playing at UCLA and having kind of that diversity and being able to kind of change positions, of course, sets you up. And uh, I, the coaches, when they first said they were going to start switching me around, were so worried. And they're like, right, do you know what you're doing here? I'm like, guys, I'm fine. I played, you know, half a season at right back for UCLA. I played, you know, six games at left back. So I was able to kind of calm them down and say, I got this. Uh, but yeah, it's different, you know, and of course the collegiate level isn't the same as the professional level. And so there was, there's always things you're adjusting to, but for the most part, uh, it, was, it was easy to pick up. You're projected to be a top 10 pick in the MLS Super Draft in 2013. And he said, you know what? I'm going to take a step back and pursue a passion. Tell me that about yeah, that story. Yeah, that was a crazy time and a crazy decision. Uh, after a lot of debate and a lot of kind of deliberation, uh, my fiance and I decided to go to Haiti uh, for a two-month period right after graduating, uh, so during the same time as the draft, same time as the combine. So by the time I got back into the States, uh, I wasn't in contact throughout that period because I didn't have any internet, didn't have a cell phone. Uh, I was in Haiti, so I didn't have connection. And then when I got in, back into the United States, I just had hundreds of emails and phone calls and voicemails and all this stuff saying kind of what had happened while I was gone. And uh, and so it was it was definitely a, a crazy time, but I had already before that trip to Haiti, I had already, already decided that I was going to move back to Sacramento, my hometown, and, uh, and plant a church with my brother, which is just starting a church uh, with my brother in, in Sacramento. So yeah, it took a year off and decided to go for it. You had the opportunity to be, and you were projected to be a top 10 pick in the MLS Super Draft, and you fell a little bit. You were picked 20th by FC Dallas, and they really did sort of take a gamble on you. Yeah, I'm I was, I was shocked. I was, uh, 
it was one of those things where you're at, at both times you're like, well, I don't want to let them down. So I know that they kind of jumped on getting me in the second round, which if I do come back and play is a potential bonus for them. But if I don't come back and play, that's a waste of a second round pick. So you kind of feel both. You're like a little bit excited that they thought you were good enough of a player to want to take that chance. And also you feel the guilt of, well, if I don't come back and play, then I don't want to have you know messed up their plans or, or anything of the sort. So. Uh, yeah, a little bit of both. Yeah. It seems like a lot of players when they are professional athletes, no matter what the sport, they're not sure what they're going to do after their career is over. I get the sense you do have a game plan in mind, don't yeah, you? I have, I have yeah, an idea. what is that? Uh, I would love to be a pastor. That was kind of my goal in going to plant this church. Uh, it was my goal in, in doing some work in Haiti was uh, I would love to pastor a church. I would love to be teaching the Bible. and. Um, so yeah, that's my idea. That's my goal. Of course, you don't know how long your career in soccer is going to last. You don't know um, kind of when all that will start taking place. But I just do. I do want to be prepared for it. So great stuff, Ryan. We're just getting started with you, and we are just getting started here on FC Dallas Extra Time, brought to you by Toyota. A little bit later in the show, Ryan's going to weigh in on tonight's matchup against DC United. But coming up next, we're checking in with the FC Dallas Academy, who's moving on to the national stage. Oh my exes live. In Texas. Plus, we're getting to know Koi Craft on FC Dallas Extra Time, presented by Toyota. It's Tundra Summer Camp Time. Get an awesome deal on a 2015 Special Edition Tundra. And right now, it comes with all this great Bass Pro Shops camping gear, so you can get your kids in touch with nature. Look, Daddy, beaver! Which is probably a good thing. The Tundra Summer Camp Event. Get a Bass Pro Shops camping package, 0% APR for 60 months, plus 1,500 special edition cash on every purchase of a Texas edition Tundra. Toyota, let's go places. We don't give up. We don't quit. We keep going.